soccer history is made at Sheffield. For the first time in this country, a team labelled England B meets a side from abroad, white-shirted Switzerland. The B seems to stand for bright and brisk, for that's the football England dish out. With Arsenal's Laurie Scott here in action, making a welcome return after a long layoff through injury, the game gives the selectors a new angle on the World Cup team for Rio. From the start, the young England forwards are full of go, chasing every half chance. Sheffield's own Redfern Froggart, number eight, soon makes a name for himself. With Chelsea's Billy Gray, number seven, he makes up a powerful right wing that gives the Swiss defenders some hectic moments. At first, the visitors keep the England defence fully stretched, but the run of play soon changes and it becomes dark shirts all the way. A pass from Billy Nicholson finds club mate Eddie Bailey. The young inside left drives the ball upfield and Billy Gray is there to send it home. After that comes the move of the match. Froggart dribbles upfield and sends the ball out to Rickett. The little outside left slams it back to Bailey and the Tottenham forward sends a power drive bang into the net. <laughs> Two up at half time, the dark shirts keep up the pressure in the second half and the Swiss boys can't keep them out. From a Bentley centre, Rickett heads number three. <laughs> and there's more on the way. Bentley, who has come on as a deputy, does the spade work and Tommy Briggs finishes it off. 4-0. England's second stringers look good enough for the first team. The two stars who shine brightest are Bailey and Froggart. And here's Froggart's wonder goal that makes the final score 5-0.